something fun came in today. My iron lock strikers came in from bombing science and this is pretty much everything that came in the package except for the package itself because there wasn't really a need to show that with you. And they sent me, it looks like a couple of coupons. If I spend monies. And I'm not gonna share those codes with you guys because I might need that. And a cool sticker that is shiny. And a magazine, not a magazine, um, a pamphlet, which is cool. I, <clears throat> I'm sorry, cool. Um, it looks like it's like all of the colors. Oh man, see if I was into graffiti or if I was into mural art, or working huge, this would be awesome. This would be like tacked up on my wall. I want this for markers. Um, send me that for markers. And my invoice. And it looks like I got everything. So, because um, my April art snacks included an iron lock striker, and I was researching it anyway, I decided it was time to just go ahead and um, order a set of strikers. I got series five because it looked like they had some okay skin tones in it. Um, and these are their brush nib offerings. Their other markers are bullet, and let's see if this is, yeah, bullet and chisel. And this is their blender because I wanted to test out their blender. And I have the, I have the, the Striker Tri Grip from my Art Snacks as well. But these should be their brush tip ones and they have Japanese nibs and are refillable. Although I, I haven't seen the refills. That doesn't mean they don't exist, especially cause this is an Australian brand and we just might not have gotten it. And it comes in this easel, which is neat because it's designed to be like a, um, well, it's not well designed, but it works to be like um, a tripod easel. And I actually don't super care for these, like that for markers, I like having them like this. Um, I don't need them up. But people who work standing up might appreciate that. It looks like a pretty decent range of colors. I think this was the set design for skin tone. So there's, what, what, what? I thought I ordered the brush tip ones. I guess I ordered the regular strikers. I totally thought I ordered the brush tip ones. Okay, well that's fine. I can still do the review. It's just gonna be harder for me because I I guess I goofed up. Let me double check. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah, I guess that was my goof. That's a, that's a shame. Um, anyway, if you have access, if you own, if you're in Australia, first of all, hi there. Secondly, if you, if you, if they sell these markers open stock and you can get the brush nib ones open stock, please email me and let's work something out because um, I really don't wanna buy another set of 20. I really just wanna see if the brush is any good out of curiosity and I'll pay you for it, but I don't wanna pay $20 for one, for one marker and that's what Amazon wants. So email me if you have access to the brush tips because I'd like to do a review. Anyway, this was just kind of like me going over Awesome, not a duplicate, that's good. Um, me going over my iron lock strikers from Bombing Science. Kind of like the Copic wallet, it has a zipper pocket in the back, which I'm gonna pop my other two in. It's like perfect. And I'll check in with you guys either when I have um, a brush tip marker to compare it to, a brush tip striker or iron lock marker to compare it to, or when I'm ready to do my field tests. So, um, these aren't exactly cheap alcohol markers, although they are supposedly refillable. The packaging, so, so right there. These are the colors for your reference. And I'm also going to be swatching the one that came in my art snacks. So I have a 20 pack. Ugh. I don't really like the easel they came in because it doesn't really want to stay up. And I'm really running out of room on my desk for just about anything at this point. I've got like four projects going on. So 
one of my markers seems... Yep, it arrived dead. I think this is going to be the second time I have to revive a marker. That's annoying. Um, for the record, it was Y701. So my initial thoughts on Iron Lock Strikers is they are a very cool looking pen. I have some trouble handling them, they're a little bit big and uncomfortable for my hands, but I have little child hands, so um, if you have bigger mitts they might work well for you. Um, I haven't seen the refills online, but that doesn't mean they don't exist, and these are an Australian marker, so if you live in Australia you may have better access to these markers. Um, I am going to try to revive my Y701T. Um, I don't know if I have high hopes for it. I don't. All the other markers in the set were okay. This one is just totally dry. I don't know if it's a bunk marker. I don't know um, if it sat on a shelf too long or if it was just improperly stored. But it is it is totally dry. It is it is gone con. So I'm going to use the same technique that I used in. Um, my Prima video when some of my Prima markers were ruined uh, and that didn't do the best job reviving it but it did something so I will check back with you guys when I'm ready to do the field test.